What happened yesterday on the floor of the United States Senate was unfortunate. The last four justices on the Supreme Court, two nominated by President Obama, Sonia Sotomayor, Elena Kagan, two nominated by George W. Bush, John Roberts, as well as uh, Justice Alito, all received 60 votes during the course of their consideration. We found yesterday a change in the rules, which was under the power of the majority to do, a change in the rules which lowered the standard for this judge for the first time officially in at least a century to a mere majority vote. That's what he received, and that's what brings his nomination to the floor today to be considered. Time and time again, our friends across the aisle failed to make any intellectually honest argument against this nominee, and still they determined to block him. That brought us to the cloture vote yesterday and the last ditch effort to block Judge Gorsuch. They didn't want to even give him the up or down vote that we're getting ready to have here in a few minutes. The question occurs on the confirmation of Neil M. Gorsuch of Colorado to be an associate justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. For the age and age. Is there a sufficient second? There is. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Alexander. Aye. Ms. Baldwin. Aye. Mr. Barrasso. Aye. Mr. Bennett. Mr. Blumenthal. Aye. Mr. Blunt. Is there any senator who wishes to change his or her vote? If not, on this vote, the ayes are 54, the nays are 45. The nomination of Neil M. Gorsuch of Colorado to be an associate justice of the Supreme Court of the United States is confirmed.